Good morning, Mark Gordon, GoldenTicker.com, on Sunday, October the 9th, 2011. And this is a chart, a daily chart of the uh, S&P 500. And you can see that we rallied pretty strongly up off the bottom uh, that we hit here on Tuesday. We did take out this previous low back here, um, which is uh, not a good sign, but came, nonetheless came up. Um, last four days, we uh, hit higher highs here. And uh, kind of came back up against this 50-day moving average. This is this blue line here that has been... Uh, what we call overhead resistance here on the last rally attempts. Um, coming back up here in mid-September, falling back, coming back up here again uh, later in the month, and then falling back, of course, uh, hitting a low this week and rallying back up. Still have not cleared this, and you can see that this blue line is sloping downwards, so not a good sign. Um, and we're below the longer term uh, uh, moving averages. This green dotted line is the 100 day and this black dotted line is the 200 day moving average. So we have what we call a bearish configuration uh, in this chart uh, when we're below these moving averages like this. So S&P 500 looking weak. Now if we look at the, uh, the NASDAQ 100, this is the QQQ. Now we can see it's a bit stronger of a chart but still weak. Um, we came down here got down at $50.10, did not take out these previous lows here, and then rallied back up. And you can see that we closed just above this blue line, which is the 50-day moving average. Uh, so that's a more positive sign. This is a more positive chart, but still not a good chart, still weak. You notice that this blue line, the 50-day moving average, is below this green dotted line, which is the 100-day, which is below the 200-day. So a bearish configuration in this chart as well. So uh, the Q is looking a little stronger, um, more uh, high growth uh, tech stocks in, in the Qs uh, than the S&P 500, but still looking weak. Now looking here at the Russell 2000, these are the, the small cap stocks. Uh, they tend to be more volatile. Uh, they move up much quicker and move down much quicker. And um, this chart is, is uh, weak. Um, never even got up close to this uh, blue line here on any of these rally attempts, and this is really diving quickly. Um, actually came up here and rallied above this 21 day moving average, this red line, and then fell back losing 2.4% uh, on Friday. And uh, of course, uh, taking out these previous lows uh, uh, midweek here and uh, trying to rally back. So um, small caps looking weak as well. And here are the emerging markets uh, looking for strength overseas. You're not going to find it. Uh, this is an even weaker chart, way below the blue line here, the 50-day moving average. Um, the 21-day moving average has become overhead resistant. So this market is technically in free fall here, uh, taking out the previous low uh, here on a weak rally attempt, um, and of course taking out these lows back here. Bearish configuration, the 50-day is below the 100-day, which is below the 200-day. So very bearish chart here as well. And here are the financials, the XLF, um, which has been very weak here. These are the banking stocks and uh, very ugly chart as well. Same same configuration here, uh, taking out the lows of the previous weeks here, way below these lows, trying to uh, set up a sideways pattern here, but took that out. Uh, making this low on Tuesday, uh, like the other indexes, way below the moving averages here, very bearish configuration in the financials. And moving on to gold now, this is the GLD, the exchange traded from the trades gold. Still putting in that side pattern, uh, sideways pattern we've been in for a couple of weeks here. Uh, volume has been fairly light, so very constructive building this sideways pattern. Um, I have drawn a line along the lows here, and you can see that we're respecting this, this lower trend line here and um, forming a bit of a triangle here. Um, this is going to resolve itself one way or the other. We just don't know uh, how. Um, but um, you can see here that the 50-day moving average is above the 100, which is above the 200. So a very bullish configuration uh, here in this chart. You can notice that the 21-day moving average has now crossed over the 50-day, uh, which sends sell signals into the market um, and is headed lower uh, due to this massive fall here. But uh, nonetheless, um, more uh, bullish configuration in this chart and uh, sideways action on light volume is a constructive move here in the gold. We can see the same sort of action uh, in the silver, um, a sideways pattern on relatively light volume here. Of course, silver is much more volatile than gold, um, so you're getting these big swings here. But nonetheless, uh, still in this sort of sideways, um, sort of volatile pattern here. But uh, respecting this lower trend line that is starting to take shape here. And um, <clears throat> a bullish configuration. Here's the 200-day, uh, here's the 100-day, and here's the 50. You'll notice how the 50 is starting to slope down. 
um, which uh, is a bit negative for the markets here. And of course, the 21 day has crossed below the 50 and is heading lower. Um, so the momentum of the market is um, the longer term momentum is down, but uh, the short term momentum is, is a bit sideways here. So let's see what happens with silver. And this is uh, the VXX, this is the VIX, which is the volatility index uh, short term. And uh, you can see that volatility has come back into the market since August. And, um, uh, you know, we're, we're just really getting um, a, a, a big uptrend here in volatility, which uh, kind of explains the wild movements in the market. So um, not a good sign. Um, volatile markets are very hard to trade in and very hard to make money in. So you can see this trend. And uh, here's the 21 day moving average. You can see it respecting that uh, and heading higher. And here's one last uh, chart here. Here's the, uh, the XLE energy stocks here. And you can see they topped out here in August um, and had a massive distribution here on big volume. Kind of built a sideways pattern here. Uh, and then that resolved itself to the downside. And uh, we hit a new low here on Tuesday, rallied back up, uh, got stalled out here at the 21 day moving average. We're well below the 50 day moving average. And we have a bearish configuration uh, in the energy stocks uh, with the 50 below the uh, 100 and the 100 below the 200 day. So um, energy stocks looking weak as well. So uh, that's it. Uh, it for the members, uh, paid members. I'm going to be uh, going through some of the uh, key leaders, uh, their charts and see uh, if we're getting any sort of firming action. Uh, in uh, the leadership and if we're getting any sort of leadership rotation uh, that could lead to a, a sustained market rally here. So thanks for watching.